smooth. I uh, wanted to give you a chance to really just listen to that song, because that song is wonderful. Uh, let me stop it so it doesn't play anything else. Actually, it won't. Excellent. Um, good morning. I did I did the head scratch. I don't know why. I just gotta do it. Uh, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Uh, Please don't knock anything over! Don't knock anything over! Um, hello. That's my face, I guess. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, good morning. So, wanted to uh, address prayer a little bit more today because I was thinking about it and praying about it. Um, and one of the things God talks about in the B I B L E is that uh, basically ask for anything. Ask me for anything. I love you. Uh, you know what is? It? There's this one little thing he says. Uh, what father who loves his son, when his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Bible comedy. Uh, and, and so therefore, a God who so loves us and so has loved the world, why would he refuse us anything, anything good for us? Um, but then there's this twin relationship between, uh, so this God knows everything, um, but he also asks us to ask, because he kind of wants to know where our head's at, even though he already knows where our head's at, um, but then he also just wants us to share our life and our needs and our desires with him, and he wants an opportunity to interact with us, um, which I guess is maybe why he created us in the first place. Um, so there's something about asking that is part of, per that that's part of worship, or it's part of praise, or it's part of your relationship to the eternal. It's kind of interesting. But, Part of it also is almost just asking to be given that which he wants to give you uh, in that thy will be done sense. But still, ask for all the things you want. I still do. Um, it took me a while to do that because I always felt like, oh, I don't want to be like the, what's the word, the bend a bending machine Christian. Uh, and God, please, can I have a king size Snickers and a regular size Butterfinger? Um, and by the end of the year... Um, can I have my face on a movie poster by a major or uh, highly valued independent studio? Um, and, oh, please have it be a good one uh, with one of my top ten favorite directors. Thanks. La, la, la. Uh, lately, I've just been asking for creat creativity and for that to just not cease and for joy and for passion and for love and for just to twin my will to his. And I feel a little bit better than that and then I don't feel so weird or whatever when I'm asking for things. When I'm just falling on his knees and going, because you know what? I feel like I can't get anything with any accuracy or anything that's made me joyful. And the whole financial thing, I've just been like, cool, Lord, you take care of it. And I'm just going to plug away at stuff and give me ways I can serve your kingdom. And, uh, and then I'm just going to do this thing. Uh, and that's been lovely. So I don't know. There's something in between there that like... I guess I'm supposed to ask for what I want so he knows what I want, even though he already knows what I want. And then I'm actually supposed to ask him for what he wants me to want. Easy there, Chucky. Um, which seems more complicated in my brain when I say it, but I guess it really isn't that complicated. He just wants a relationship. If uh, an infinitely powerful being kicked this whole universe into into cycle was the spark for the first uh, single cell organism if you want to go that route um, if he did all this just to create life similar or uh, exactly like we are the 
then why would would he just want to be uh, absentee? And he doesn't necessarily want to save us all from from the 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 pitfalls and traps of this world because there are traps really we made them, <laughs> but he does want us to uh, pursue eternity with him, and we can do that by our relationship to this world. And I think prayer actually is one of the more intimate ways of revealing uh, what you are still uh, truly attached to or the things you are supposed to pursue or where your temporal dreams come into contact with, with, your, with your eternal goals. At least my, that's certainly how it works for me. So I'm actually learning, for me, one of the things I'm learning is learning to ask and not be ashamed of just asking. And... Who knows uh, which ones I'll get, or which ones I'm supposed to get, but I'll just, I ask in faith, and and believe it's coming, and, and man, I pray, blah, and man, I, I feel pretty good. Feel pretty darn good. And uh, pray this morning, and now I'm ready to face the day. Hello, day. This is my face. <laughs>